Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 76 Q tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, this is a redo of the previous video. Uh, the sound was just horrendous. I'm, I apologize for that. I really don't know what happened. So, as you guessed, I'm doing a sound check every time I do these videos from now on just to make sure, you know, I didn't nail the volume or the cat was eating the cord or something. So today we're going to be discussing polygons. And what is a polygon? Well, a polygon is a irregular shape. It's really all it is. And we're just going to add our includes here. And then we're going to override the paint event. If you have no idea what I'm doing, please, I beg you, go watch my previous videos. Um, they will save you a lot of headache trying to figure out what I'm doing. And I try to keep these fairly short, and as a result, I don't want to you know, reinvent the wheel every single tutorial here. Just going to refactor that. All right, now, first thing we want to do is create our painter object. So, Q Painter, not Q Pincher, <laughs> Q Painter. Then we'll call this Painter, parent of this. Now, we want to make our polygon. And if you're wondering why I'm writing the comments out, it's because we're going to do a couple different things and I need to be able to jump back and forth through the code very quickly. So we're going to say Q polygon and we're just going to call it poly. And a polygon is a regular shape. We've already discussed that. And it's made up of points. So it could be a square, it could be a circle, it could be a triangle, it could be some funky weird design you come up with yourself. But what you need to know is we need to add points to this. We'll say Q point. And we're just going to add 10, 10. And we're going to add, uh, we're going to add a couple points here. We're just going to make some really weird shape here. Let's say 10, 100, and then let's say 110. And then let's just add 100, 100. Now we're going to make a pen to draw this polygon. We'll just say make a pen. And let's just call this uh, line pen. Let's give this a nice thick width. That way it'll show up on the video. And let's give it a really strong color too. Now, what we're going to do next is just simply draw the polygon. And you notice how it just basically wants to know what do you want to draw it with. So we're going to give it our polygon object. We haven't set the, the pin yet, so let's do that. Let's compile and run this. And let's see what this weird object we just created looks like. Hmm, TikTok. Sometimes the C++ build objects are to be desired. There we go. So we've made this kind of funky infinity symbol looking thing. And as you can see, it goes like that. And then it fills in the gaps as we need it. So that's a polygon. Now we want to, just for the sake of argument, fill this. We're going to fill this polygon up. Just because we want to see what it looks like filled. You guessed it, we have to make a brush. So we're going to say Q brush. And we'll just call this fill brush. And we'll say fill brush, set color, and let's just say cute. Uh, let's do something other than blue, let's do green. I think I did that in the original too. And we're going to set the style. Oops, not solid line, solid pattern. Sorry about that. Now, if you notice how when you attempt to do painter.fill uh, polygon, there is no painter.fill polygon. So, what we have to do is create a path. 
So we're going to fill the polygon. But we have to create a path. So we're going to do Q painter path. And we'll just call it path. Very simply path dot add polygon. And give it a give it a reference to poly. And then of course we are going to just fill it in down here. We'll say fill path and it wants our path and of course our brush. Compile and run. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. Now notice how it didn't do a rectangle, it did our path. It only did the intersecting sections of our path. Now you can change that behavior, but of course you're going to have to uh, visit the cute documentation to see how to do that, because I'm pretty limited on time and I'm still very sick, so my throat's kind of killing me. Um, one thing I did want to talk about though, it's called line styles, or actually join styles. You see how when we create these lines, these edges are really sharp, I mean they just cut right off. Well, we want to change that behavior. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say line pen and we're going to say uh, set join style and let's just say uh, cute and we're going to say uh, a round join and it's pretty self descriptive but a round join actually rounds the corners off a little bit. I don't know how well it's coming up in the video, but it's it's rounded compared to what it was. And there's a couple different styles here. Like we are going to do the uh, the miter join. If you don't know what a miter joint is, uh, look at your door frame. It's a very crisp, sharp joint. You see how it's very crisp and sharp here. That's a miter join. So a join is where the two lines join together. That's called a join. And one thing you should also be aware of, especially when it comes to lines, you can say we're going to give it a line style of dotted instead of solid. Whoops, there we go. Hit the wrong button there. You notice how it retains the join style. There's that sharp edge, but you see how it's missing here? That's because it's in between one of the dots. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that either, so. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is Brian. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and uh, keep up on the feedback, because if it wasn't for your guys' feedback, I would have had no idea the volume on the last two videos was so low. But uh, redid both of them. I hope you enjoy them.